Have you ever seen such movie in which the person is real murderer who is considered innocent in the whole story? Nobody have any clue that the innocent person is real murderer. This the real example of hypocrisy. Today's story is following the same theme that a murderer who looks innocent to everyone, does black magic and ruins the lives of other persons. A policeman tries to solve the mystery of black magic but he becomes the victim. See how. Mr. Glimpse presenting the wailing. There is a police officer named Jack. He goes to a murder site where the murderer has been already caught. The murderer looks like he is sick. Jack goes in and see, there are many dead bodies, which are tied. Seeing dead bodies. Jack gets to know that murders didn't occur here, but somewhere else. And he reaches that place with his team. And when he goes inside the room, he sees that, it looks like someone has done black magic here. There is a specific plant there which is burnt. The seeds are like skulls. Jack want to touch them then his colleague calls him. After going to the police station, his colleague tells him. That a few days ago a man was hunting in the jungle. And while hunting, his leg slipped and fell down. And when he saw his prey, a Japanese man was eating it. He hid after seeing him. But the man saw him. And after that, that Japanese man came in front of him. That Japanese man's eyes were not like humans. He looked like a devil or from another world. And Jack doesn't believe him. The next day Jack goes to another site, where a whole family was killed and their house was burned. When Jack is out of the house, a girl comes there. And she tells Jack that she knew the family who was killed. That family told me that there is a Japanese man who is not a human. He is a devil. And he killed this family. After that she takes Jack inside the house. And asks him if he has ever seen that Japanese man. Jack says that he has seen him a couple of times. That girl tells Jack that he should take care of his family. It is possible that his next prey is you and your family. Jack wants to ask the girl something else. But then his phone rings and he goes out. When he comes back inside after hearing the phone, the girl is not there. He hears some noise from behind the house, he finds that they're the same Japanese man is who is eating the prey. The Japanese man sees him, he goes behind Jack to kill him. But before he kills Jack, Jack wakes up. Actually he was dreaming. Jack's daughter falls sick. But he doesn't take his daughter's condition seriously. He goes to the police station. Want to find that Japanese man. He calls the man who saw the Japanese man eating his prey. The hunter takes Jack and his friends to that place. They are about to reach that spot, hunter gets electrocuted and he gets injured. He is taken to the hospital now. There is the murderer too who was caught for so many murders. The murderer's condition starts getting worse. His entire body starts burning, and he dies. Now Jack comes back home. He sees his daughter reacting the same way, as the murderer did in the hospital. Jack gets scared and hold up his daughter. Soon his daughter comes back to her senses. But after this incident, Jack's daughter's body starts getting some changes. She starts eating a lot. This makes Jack's mom much worried. She tells Jack that maybe there is some evil spirit on his daughter. We must visit a magician. But Jack doesn't believe in such things and refuses his mom. Jack goes to investigate this case again. He goes to a place where he meets a Korean man. Who also knows eight that Japanese evil man. He is a priest. And he goes to the house of the same Japanese man. The man lives in the middle of the forest. When he looks inside his house, he finds a lot of photos of the villagers. These are the people who are died. He goes to another room where there is a lot of black magic things. Before he understands anything, the same Japanese man occurs, with a dog with him. He gets scared when he sees the Japanese man. And somehow he comes back from there. On the way, when Jack is with his companion, he tells him that maybe you and your family is next target of that Japanese man. You will have to take care of yourself and your family. Jack asks him why he is saying this. He shows Jack a pair of shoes that belong to Jack's daughter. He says that he found these shoes in the forest. Now Jack comes back to his house. And he asks his daughter about that Japanese man. His daughter gets aggressive after hearing the name of that Japanese man. Jack calms her down. When his daughter is sleeping at night, he finds the same kind of allergy marks on her body, the allergy marks he had seen on the body of the murderer, who is dead now. Jack gets angry and goes back to that Japanese man's house but this time there is no photo there. Jack starts destroying everything there. Then there is Japanese man's dog guard here, who attacks him but Jack kills him. Now the Japanese man comes here. Jack threatens him that if he doesn't vacate this place, or and doesn't leave here he will kill him. After that Jack comes back to his house. Gradually his daughter's health is getting worse. A sorcerer is called here, he searches his house and finds a bird there. He tells him all whatever is happening with his daughter. is because of that Japanese man. He tells him only two ways to save his daughter. Either kill that Japanese man, or we will have to do some black magic here. And if we don't do that then whatever is happening with your daughter, will happen with the entire village. Jack allows him to do black magic. A big doll is made here like Jack's daughter. Then magician starts his black magic here. The Japanese man is shown here, who is doing black magic in his house. 
The magician in Jack's house after doing black magic, attacks the doll which he has made as Jack's daughter's size. He attacks different parts of its body, the parts where he attacks, Jack's daughter also feels pain in that part. Also that Japanese man who is doing black magic in his house. Now Jack's daughter's condition worsens. It seems that she is about to die. That's why Jack stops this ritual and takes his daughter to the hospital. The Japanese man who is badly injured, as shown there. He somehow comes out of his house, he sees the girl in white clothes. Who was once seen in Jack's dream. The girl told him that the Japanese man is not a human, he is a devil. Jack is is now much worried for his daughter. Magician told him either he has to complete the ritual, or has to kill that Japanese man. That's why he goes with his men to kill the Japanese man. But he doesn't find him at home instead a strange man comes from behind his house. Looks like a zombie. They want to kill him. But the priest with them doesn't allow them to do so. The zombie man gets a chance and kills the priest, then the zombie man dies. Jack finds the Japanese man is watching him from behind the bushes. He follows him with his men to catch him and kill him. But the Japanese man hides somewhere. Even after searching for a lot of time, when he doesn't find the Japanese man, Jack leaves there with his men. The Japanese man sees the same girl in white dress again. He got scared of her and tries to escape from her but that girl catches him and throws him on Jack's car. Jack sees that he is dead. They throw him down the cliff. Jack comes home, sees his daughter completely cured. He thinks that his daughter is cured because of the Japanese man's death. But the truth is that no one knows anything. Here the Jack's colleague is shown who has killed his entire family and was sitting in the same way, as the first murderer was sitting in the beginning of this story. That means he has lost his entire body. His body is also infected. And the sorcerer who had performed rituals at Jack's house to save his daughter, has different visions. He feels the danger here. That's why he wants to leave this village in his car. But some unknown powers don't let him leave the village, and he comes back to the village. After that he calls Jack and tells him that we shouldn't have killed the Japanese man whom we had killed. He was not a bad person. He was a good person and wanted to save your daughter. And the girl in white whom you had seen in your dreams, is doing black magic. She wants to kill your daughter and everyone in this village. Jack gets scared hearing all this. He goes back to his house to see his daughter. But his daughter is not at home, coming out out of the home, he sees the same girl in white again. Jack asks him where his daughter is? She tells him that your daughter is still at home. I am doing some black magic on her so that he gets free from the clutches of the Japanese man and becomes free. That Japanese man is not a human but a devil. He is still alive. Jack wants to go inside the house to see his daughter. But the girl in white stops him says that don't go inside your house until you hear a hen sound three times. Then he hears a hen sound. Jack's daughter is inside the house. Sitting in front of her mother and grandmother. She is eating a lot. She sees the knife behind her mother. The priest is shown who was bitten by that zombie man. But now he has recovered. He sees in his visions that the Japanese man is still alive. He is not a good man. He wants to kill everyone. That's why to kill that Japanese man, he reaches the bottom of those mountains, from where he was thrown. Here he goes inside a cave where he sees the Japanese man is still alive, and doing black magic here. Jack is shown who is in front of the girl in white. He goes inside his house but that girl doesn't allow him to go inside the house. And then he gets a call from the sorcerer, he tells Jack not to listen to that girl in white. Whatever she is saying is a lie. The Japanese man is a good man, the girl in white is lying to you. Now Jack runs away and goes inside his house. Actually the sound of a hen had come only once that he was waiting for. And when he goes inside his house, he sees that his daughter has killed his entire family. He sits there in shock. His daughter is in front of him. He doesn't know how to react upon seeing her. The same priest is shown to us who is in front of the Japanese man. He asks him to tell him the truth. The Japanese man says, I am a human. And then he takes out a camera and takes a photo of him. After taking the photo his entire body start changing. He even gets two horns on his head. Now we come to know that the real devil is Japanese. His eyes turn red like fire. Seeing the devil's face reminds me of that Daruma doll's face that killed the entire class of students except for one. I have also uploaded its story. If you want to enjoy this movie as well, you will find it on the end screen. Back to the story, taking a photo means that he will kill the priest, the way he killed many people before. Whatever the girl in white was saying was true. The Japanese man is not a human but a demon. The girl in white, wanted to save Jack's daughter. Jack's house is shown outside. It is shown that the girl in white is completely devastated as if she has lost the war. Jack is also completely devastated by his family's death. But still he wants to save his daughter, who is being controlled by the devil Japanese. He wants to save her from his clutches. The same priest comes to Jack's house who had performed rituals at his house for Jack's daughter. He takes a photo of Jack's dead family with him. Putting the photo in a box in the car, the box falls down. The box had the same photos which were in the Jack's house of the people who were killed by the Japanese. 
Here we come to know that the priest was involved with the Japanese from the beginning, he works for him. When the he was performing rituals to save Jack's daughter at Jack's house, the Japanese man was not in pain because of his rituals, but because of the girl in white who was outside the Jack's house at that time. She was trying to defeat him with her rituals and save Jack's daughter. Now all of them have lost and the Japanese have won. Maybe in the future, Jack will be able to cure his daughter completely. Maybe the girl in white can defeat the Japanese with her magical power. So this was the story of the whaling. Tell us in your comments that did you like the story? This film was released in 2016. It has a rating of 7.4 on IMDb. We hope you like this story.